Hi everybody, my name is Manish Gupta. I'm the head of customer engineering for strategic telco accounts in Google Cloud. Today I'm going to introduce our new solution called ANO, Net Anonymous Network Operations for telco and cable providers. So why we are building this? We see that operators are facing key challenges in the areas of network operations and planning. Number one is the increasing operational costs and, and the network demands. As we see the internet uh, demand is increasing, bandwidth demand is increasing, operators have no choice to build more and more network capacity. And then for them to manage it all together, it is very important to also control the cost while able to provide the uh, good customer experience. And that relates to the second topic, which is suboptimal customer experience, which we have seen in the case where it is very difficult or very challenging to correlate the real-time uh, events into the customer experience. So that's the second challenge to solve. And number three is that over a period of time, these, these operators have been built from different technologies and so on. They've been doing it for decades now. And then because of that, the data is quite fragmented, sitting into different systems. And there is a need for <clears throat> this data to be unified. So that's number three. And number four is in order for, uh, for us to solve any of these problems that are listed earlier, we need to have the right technology set to use in order for this to be all automated. And for that, CSPs or the customer uh, service providers need to have the skill set and the know-how how to build this technology on top. Uh, and what we are doing here is providing that framework in order for them to really reuse all of it as opposed to building it from scratch. So that's number four. So we're going to talk about ANO in detail in the next few slides. So this is this picture is showing the uh, the technology stack for autonomous network operations framework. There are a few points to consider here. Number one, it is built for scale, high availability, and low latency, and it is going to use BigQuery for data, Spanner for graph, and Vertex for all the the ML models. Uh, there will be a, a, a opportunity here to correlate. Uh, between customer uh, uh, customer experience and the network graph, in order for it uh, for us to tell that the cust uh, pinpoint a problem and and actually inform the customer that there is a problem in the network and then how we can actually how we going to solve it and how what is the ETA on that. The third major piece of this uh, framework is the network digital twin, that is going to represent the network topology and it is going to be built using uh, using GraphDB, and it is going to have the, the concept of temporal, which is the ability for uh, for this graph to maintain the the digital uh, snapshots of the of the network as it changes from time a time a to time b. Then, on top of this uh, spanner graph, we are going to apply the uh, uh, GNN algorithms, graph neural network algorithms to uh, create a deep learning about the graph. And the using the other ML algorithms, we will be able to uh, perform some uh, uh, use cases such as failure pinpointing, troubleshooting, and so on. We're going to cover GNNs in more details later on. And then finally, we will have an agentic framework that will allow us to have direct chat with this data using natural language. So if I just go through the stack on the right, it is going to work with any network, and it's going to then have the digital twin, uh, which is going to have at the base layer, the network data representing in, represented into BigQuery. On top of it, it's going to have the, the graph represent, uh, representation of network topology, and then on top of it is going to have the GNN algorithms and ML models to generate insights and recommendations. These insights and recommendations are going to be then available for Looker and the, and the Spanner as the serving layer for the systems to chat with this information. And then using ANO agents 
or agentic framework, it will be possible to do uh, the, um, uh, it will be possible to, uh, to chat with this data. All these insights will be sent to uh, Customer 360 system, and then from there on, any uh, action that we need to take uh, will be first reviewed by the human and then will be applied. This uh, is the uh, double click of the uh, ANO framework that I showed in the previous slide. Uh, key points to consider here is that this stack is built on top of BigQuery, Spanner, and Vertex, which is fully managed, distributed, and planet, and actually has the capabilities of pan planet scale. It is, uh, there is a native integration between the three systems. It is optimized to use a single copy of data. It, scales it is scalable to, for any operator size. It is going to use GNN and GraphRag, and it can ingest the data both in batch and the real-time form. And finally, just to uh, double-click on GNNs, these are the graph neural networks. These networks are specialized neural networks that can actually consider uh, uh, take the uh, graph structure data in account. It can take the input such as intent, ops management, and states, uh, unstructured data, historical data from the network, and then it can provide a different use cases such as predict and prevent network outages, shorten network outage time, real-time failure pinpointing, capital planning, of, uh, capacity planning and optimization, root cause analysis, and take action on the network. So all in all, uh, this stack is going to be uh, are going to be uh, uh, provided uh, as as a, a reference solution or a framework uh, to the uh, the customers, and then uh, from there on, customers will be able to implement it uh, with the help of uh, using their own engineering or using uh, PSO help or using uh, the um, the uh, partner help. So thank you very much.